All right, so it's a call um, in an apartment complex. It looks like a maintenance man tried to replace a board here, so I'm going to check and see what we've got here. I mean, off the bat, to me, it looks like they installed the um, uh, high voltage line on the low voltage trace. So what we're going to do is try to trace it back here. Check out our schematic. Let's see here. So the offense looked to be on this, starting on this side. Okay. Oh, really off the bat, I can see coming off this here. Um, sequencer. This looks to be. That's going to be a high. I think that's a high voltage. Let's see. M1 reads M1, N1 terminal. From the schematic we see one of those R's are supposed to go to disconnect. Yep, so that's high voltage coming off. Disconnect on one. And the other skinny one is going to the normally open. Normally open side of the this here um relay. But instead of it doing that, it's going dropping down on this R, 24 volts, so yep, so yeah he's got that backwards, so we got that's our if you can see this is gonna be our R here. Oh, yeah. That was connected here to the normally open of the 24 volts. That should have actually been. I'm. Um, it's too late to do anything with this now. I'm just putting it right for the new board. So that would have gone here. Wait, you got one? Mm -hmm. Nice. So yeah, I found out the issue. So um, what was? yeah, you had the this M1, which is the schematic. It's a high voltage line. Mm -hmm. You had that going to your low voltage here on your uh, 24 volt side. Yeah. And then you had your low voltage going to where your high voltage was going. So that's basically. I mean, as far as what blew it the first time, it might have been a lightning strike or something, but uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to definitely make sure it's good this time. Um, it's only take one wire in the wrong place. Huh? What's that? I said it's all it takes one wire in the wrong spot. Oh yeah, definitely, absolutely. Whew. I just hope that um, hope everything else is good. pressure. I mean everything else seems to be good. Uh, right back here on the seat point and everything is in where it's supposed to be. You didn't mess with any of that? No. no. I'll make sure I'll double check based off the schematic. Red and red. Yep, 
height and ground. That should be it. What's going on there? Difference, man. This one here was uh, uh, over okay. here. Not sure, so that's going to be transformer. Matter of fact, let's make sure. Did you happen to re what? Did, did you happen to? Reinstall this transformer by any chance? No. Okay, no. just checking. Didn't test that. Got transformer. R. No, but it was running. Yeah, oh. it before. Okay. It been running a lot. Oh yeah, transformer common. So yeah, this should be right. We got. Yeah, that's grounded. Perfect. So yeah. Just do that there. Red. That's one kind. <clears throat> That's gonna be the kind in there. All right. Let's see about. It should be good. I'll try to start her up. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let me turn it on. Let me let me check. Or you want to plug it in? And yeah, that'll work. You can just go ahead and pop it on now. Oh, it's on. Okay. Uh, 
right, so that one went pretty well. Um, just uh, they just basically had the uh, wires backwards, the 24 volt, and one of the um, hot wires that came up the sequencer. Um, they pretty much just wired it wrong whenever installing the board, so no big deal. But yeah, we got it up and running. Basically, you know, didn't want to keep filming with them. Figure out 